Mm. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to the Frost Bite. With me, your hostess with the mostest, your best to use Vesti, the cringiest crossdresser on all of social media, the one, the only, the incomparable, the incorrigible Vivian Frost. Now, um, the videos of mine that do the, the best are always the drag race ones, which obviously, <laughs> I mean, I mean, most people that are watching me are just watching and, you know, and I don't like subscribe, which is fine. I understand. I do this because I want to, because it's fun for me as Vivian to do these videos, but the drag race, race ones are always fun to do. Um, drag race is always, you know, I've been, I've, I've been a transvestite slash crossdresser since I was a fuck, since Janet Jackson's escapade video came on and made me want to be her so bad. And that's all I've ever wanted to be. But anyway, I digress. Um, so I'm going chronologically through every Drag Race season, picking my 10 favorite looks from each season. And we are on one of my absolute favorite seasons of Drag Race, not counting, I mean, in, like in every season, not counting just domestic, which I did a, a top 10 of uh, on the channel. So look for that video. If I was smart, I'd put it right here. Uh, there's nothing gonna be there because I'm gonna fucking forget. I just did five shots if you watched the previous video. Uh, anyway, so Drag Race Thailand season two. Drag Race, Drag Race Thailand XOXO. First off, if you have not watched any international seasons, watch this season. It is so fucking good. It is so fucking just culturally different that it's, it's exciting, it's fresh, it's beautiful. It's so cool. And you know, I'll never get over the end. It's just like music. It's so great. I love Drag Race Thailand. It's so good. Season two, again, Drag Race Thailand season two, one of the best of all of fucking Drag race -dom. So, 10th favorite outfit from the season. Now, this is not necessarily a look season, so to speak, but the styling, the cultural usage, the, the difference of everything, it has a unique look to it, and I love that about Drag Race Thailand. Uh, and most of the international seasons. Uh, Holland has the, the greatest wigs you've ever seen. France has the fashion, you know, a, a unique fashion, so to speak. But they all have unique fashion, don't get me wrong. But starting with Bandit's white elephant look, there is no way to make an elephant sexier. Bottom line, and Bandit did it here with her ele white elephant look. Gorgeous, fits the criteria, beautiful. I would high neck, so I love it. Uh, and again, this is just my opinion, so you're free to toot or boot. Uh, whichever ones you prefer. But my number 10 is Bandit's White Elephant. Moving on up, now this is not the technically best look, but it's uh, Miss Gimaway's, um Hollywood in Your Heart look. Uh, and uh, let me tell you right now, if you've seen the season, this is this is amazing. The, the drama with this look, it's so good, it's so amazing. Worth watching the season for, for this episode. But anyway, th there's so much potential here with that gown, with the motorcycle, the Ghost Rider inspiration, lose the helmet, get red hair going back, high neck black leather, zipped up, buttoned up, whatever we need to do. Love the coat with the fire coming out of it. Amazing. This look is on the list because, you know, give me a thousand bucks and I will make the perfect version of this look. Like, she had the genius of creating it and almost there. Almost there. A few bells and whistles, a few little finishing touches, and this look would be one of the most amazing ever. And also, 90s Ghost Riders are my favorite comics of all time. So I can't complain. Next we have, who is it? Uh, Jeannie's Rainbow Look. Now we've seen similar things since this, but again, most American audiences of Drag Race haven't seen international seasons. Um, a, lot of the, a lot of the things that we're seeing on the domestic version of Drag Race here in the US has been done before overseas in the different seasons. Like, I'm telling you right now, if you've never watched international seasons, oh, they got subtitles. Well, you need them because you gotta understand what they're saying, but they're fucking good. The international seasons are among the best seasons of Drag Race, period. But this look with the rainbow, the different colors fluctuating in the clouds, glowing, everything, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Of course, I'd wear it with a white satin blouse underneath, or, you know, protruding out with that shine, a little bit extra shine, some lights under it to go through, but that's just, that's just me. So moving on up to number eight, we have um, Candy Zionide's reunion look. The grass, hat, skirt, shoes, vest, gloves, perfect. I would wear a white satin blouse under it or maybe a beige satin to represent like a sand trap on a golf course. And the, uh, of course her cane is the golf club. I do that for the, that last little touch. And of course the Vivian aesthetic, but this is so cool. I love it. We haven't seen anything like it. It's so unique. I love it, and, I, and I, I'm not sure at the top of her head if there's a hole. That's where the hole is, the hole in one. Or if not, it should be on the butt. Checkmate. 
Anyway, moving on up. Love this to death. Then we have Kana Warriors. This is her um, reunion look. So Thailand, but perfectly executed. The red, oh honey, red, red satin. Second best color next to gold. Uh, the boots, everything, the shape, the silhouette, the makeup, the headpiece. Now, of course, I would I would personally prefer a wig underneath behind it for like background. Maybe a wig going up behind it, painted like the sky or something. That would make the that would be a finishing touch. And of course, the neck piece would be connected to the body, at least for me. But again, I didn't wear this. I didn't make this. This is amazing. This is beautiful. I love it. Kind of warrior. Gorgeous. Next, we have we found my mouse because I'm doing this live. Now, this is it's. This, I agree. This is fairly basic, but it is basically perfection and i love this outfit i love uh mandarin collars i love the frog closures chun lee's one of my first you know sexual awakenings i love the ki pao i hope i pronounced that right the, the four shots i took earlier in the previous video are kinking in right now Whew. i know how to help <sighs> that'll take the edge off Probably before the end of the video. Anyway, but um, uh, Vanda Prince, Vanda's, uh, <coughs> Vanda Miss Joaquin's princess photo shoot, perfection. This is a woman. This is beauty incarnate in Thailandic culture with the uh, Asian brides typically wear red. To my knowledge, I believe that will be true in Thailand. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not claiming that I know everything. I'm just stating what I believe I know. But long, long red satin again. Uh, Mandarin collar, Kipao style, Al Dai style. Sorry if I bumped the mic, it's right by the mouse. I need to scoot it over. But not a good picture of it because you really can't see much of it, but trust me, beautiful. I would wear this for 24 hours, live, sleep, everything in it. It is a beautiful, beautiful dress, and I personally love it. But I do love, um, uh, now again, I'm gonna mispronounce, I haven't watched this season in like a fucking year, uh, Sramala's finale look. Now, what I love about this look, I like the previous look better, to be honest, but what I like about this look is the asymmetricalism of it with everything you have. I can't, I can't, you can't see it because my webcam's cutting off, otherwise you'd see my bed, uh, my office. Uh, and I want you to see the, the graphic instead. But over here, you see on the on her right, you have that big pauldron, pauldronic shoulder, the hair accentuating it, the, the connected sleeve on the left, the silhouette of the hip, the sticking out hip on the right, Beautiful, love the shape of this. Of course, I would do something, you know, have a high collar gold satin blouse underneath with one collar, one collar, uh, one collar tuck, the other one poking out. Super long going into that for that fine that finale shape. That's just me. I'm not on drag race yet. Get me on there. But also I need some money. Anyway, I love this look. I think it's super beautiful. Again, um, technically I do like this one better, to be honest. This is my top look of the season, honestly. But I'm going on, you know, more, a little. I want. I know it's basic. That's the thing. I know. So I do want to be a little more fair in how I'm judging it because this one's beautiful. And next, honestly, let's be honest. This season was dominated by two queens, and that's Candy Zionide and Vanda, uh, Vanda Miss Joaquin, as we'll see her at least one more time on this countdown. And we're at number fucking three. So this is her old, her silver foxy and baby drag look. Now, of course, I prefer the baby drag look. On the uh, will be viewers right. The red one, put it to you that way. Uh, but both are beautiful. She wear, she always wears her garments. They never wear her. I love them. They're so beautiful, super good. The hair, everything phenomenal. She is the look queen of the season. The best dressed. If there was an award for best dressed, there's Miss Geniality, there should be dress, best dressed. And speaking of the second best dressed queen on season two of Drag Race Thailand, we have uh, Kenny Cyanide's promo look. The silhouette, again, gold, honey, gold, go, I love gold. The makeup, the everything about this photo is vogue. It is beautiful. You know, could be, a, you know, the only thing I would make different would be a high Mandarin collar. That would be the only thing that stops us from being perfection and number one, but it's beautiful. The silhouette, she wears it. Again, it doesn't wear, you hear Ruth say that all the time. Unless you've done drag or dress or, or transvestite slash crossdresser, you don't know what that, you really don't, you, you do, I promise you, you don't understand that until you hear, until you, you actually do it. Then you understand the power of drag and every, everything about it that Rue talks about. You, I'm telling you, if you've never dressed in drag, you don't fucking know. Don't fucking act like it. Once you experience it, you fucking know. And then you do it all the fucking time. Anyway, but what's my best look? I've already kind of alluded to it. 
but Vandemus Joachim's reunion look is no, I again, I like her princess look. That would be my first. So I said, you know, I always do this look I, when I rate these. I rate them on, you know, which one of these what I want. I want the most because to make it more personal to me, my aesthetic, which is high neck satin shiny. And honestly, her princess look is number one to me. That'd be the first one I pick. But again, I want to be a little more fair to the queens because again, these videos get so much more traction than the other ones, and I want them to understand that you know I'm not playing favorites. I'm you know I, I do have an aesthetic eye for the. The technicality, the beauty, the silhouette, everything that goes into making this video, this, excuse me, this video, but also this look from Miss Vanda Joachim, the best look of Drag Race Thailand season two, and it's the reunion look. The white, the gold, the silhouette, the shape, the mermaid, you know, split with the detailing on the sides coming up, making that shape at the neck, the hair, the look, the earrings, the puffy sleeves perfect thailandic perfection and again drag race thailand season what three is coming out really soon i can't wait. i'm more anticipate i'm waiting for thailand season three more than any other season of drag race or maybe maybe it's four whatever the new season is i i can't remember because the weed is hitting in like i predicted and the four shots from earlier watch the previous video here again it's not going to be there because i want to forget this because i'm fucking stoned and drunk but anyway, so Miss Vanda Joachim takes the number one spot on my list of the top 10 looks from Drag Race Thailand season two. Again, if you haven't watched Drag Race Thailand, any of the foreign seasons, Holland, uh, Spain, and Thailand, amazing. And Australia season two. Australia season one is one of the worst seasons of all time. Season two is fucking amazing. Absolutely. Uh, watch the international seasons. They are the best. If I, I need to do a top 10 list of the 10 best international seasons. I mean, Drag Race Thailand could be number one. I don't know. The drama, the everything about it is so beautiful. Their stage is so fucking big. It's like the entire studio for their stage. It is so fucking big. It's so fucking amazing. I love Drag Race Thailand. I love, and season two in particular is amazing. Not discounting season one, but season two brought the drama. Fucking amazing. So, but by now you should be subscribing right here and liking uh, down here and let me know what video this one is down in the comments down below because this one's based on all the other weird shit that you watch on YouTube so let me know what that one is I'm looking down because I'm looking for my stay fucking frosty which I'm about to go into right now so until next time stay fucking frosty